okay welcome guys i'm going to show you guys how to solve complex number with your calculator so when solving complex number with your calculator no you have to put it in complex mode so in doing that you press your mode don't press shift to the mode just press mode you can see number two complex cmplx is complex so you click on number two so you have put it in complex mode so when you want to press i you can see this eng here let me raise it up you can see this eyes here at the top of it so this is the button when you just press eng your eye will show there so the question is given that this this and this this what is z1 minus z2 as easy as abc z1 is one minus i so we have one minus i close your brackets then minus z2 minus z2 which is 4i you can see it this is how i got my i i pressed eng just press equal to you have one minus five and that will be your answer as easy as abc you can be asked to do z1 let's say it is four <coughs> sorry one plus four i let's assume it's one plus four i I would have written 1 plus 4i. The answer would have been minus 5i. So what if you are doing z1 divided by z2? Just press 1 minus i. All over, let's say it is 1 plus 4i. 1 plus 4i. As easy as that, this would be your answer. Or let's say you are multiplying 1 minus i then times 1 plus 4i as easy as that you can see it 5 plus 3i for question 2 given that this is this find simplify i is to power 80 as easy as that press i then raise it to the power of 80 mass error so you can't do that you can't really do that except you convert it to complex to polar form how do you do that now let's convert i to polar form now what is polar form so if you want to convert it to polar form you just press um shift then press 2 you can see in this number 2 you can see complex so press 2 you can see it's argument conjugate arrow and this so in polar form you choose 3 number 3 so it is the angle is 90 degree remember it is arrow theta so the angle is 90 degree and the modulus is one so you have one open bracket course 90 degree plus s and 90 degree now you are asked to find raised to power 80 so raise everything to the power of 80 so one raised to power 80 is one one raised to power 80 is one now remember from the Mavers theorem that this power will multiply this angle so you have 90 times 80 90 times 80 but this angle is far far bigger than um it's far far bigger than um this thing your tv60 you can leave it like this or you can be subtracting tv60 but let's leave it like that so you have of course 7200 plus sn 7200 now how do you now convert it to your normal mode just press the cost 7200 you get one plus press sign 7200 zero so this part is zero so your final answer is one the answer is one that's if you this is quite long though the question three express this in polar form now if you do not have this calculator you can easily do that just open the brackets if you have a normal calculator just open the bracket three times cos 30 three cos 30 that will not give you one so it means that option a is not the answer what about two cos 60 it's give one let's test the other one two cent 60 two cent 60 root three it gave you three so the answer is b but you have to understand that um uh you have to consider the sign if this was negative b would have not been the answer 
you would have searched for the one that will give you a negative answer so let's go for if you have this calculator simple press the complex number one plus root three then i or to be safe press the i before the root three so that you're not going to make mistake and put this put the i inside the root three so you have you have written that after writing that press shift then press number two you can see different options arguments conjugate three four number three you can see the t the angle is 60 degree and the argument is this so you have 2 cos 60 plus i sin 60. so if for eventual your angle here was negative just add 360 to it that's if you are using calculator if you are not using calculator don't add 360 there are conditions before you add 360 so that will be all for this video. Thanks for watching.